配。So, hello everybody. My name is Ivan Toshev from General Laser, Vienna. And uh, we would like to present you actually uh, a, a couple of projects, but it is the case that we are in the middle of development and we would rather present you next year a ready product and not just uh, half-finished prototypes. Uh, we have clinked together fastly. And about the other projects, uh, we are running with industry partners. The penalties from the NDAs are so high that uh, if we show you now something, we could not present anything next year because we would went bank bankrupt. <laughs> That's why we asked, um, we asked those of you for their projects who are likely to have even more ideas and better ideas uh, for richer SUs and we our customers, and Emlit started a photo competition to find out one of these projects as a, and as a compensation and thank for the efforts, respectively, as well as a little motivation to get involved. Uh, the winner would receive uh, Reach RS RTK receiver. And, and here, excuse me, and here you see some of the contributions. We got pictures from everywhere, from all over the world. Any Oops, excuse me. Thank you. As you see, there are plenty of mapping applications. There were uh, uh, monitoring of landslides. Yeah, thank you. Now I have the better place, thanks. And this was the way we got to know the people from Archeo perspectives. Just, it has a small delay. Her Perspectives is a Viennese-based company and uh, one of the uh, uh, many challenges of this young and dedicated team is currently tackling uh, and surveying the approximately 45 hectare large settlement of Mosia on the western edge of Sicily. This is Archeo Perspectives. And as you see, during that work, they have uh, plenty of fun and many challenges, like comparing the quality of Italian beer with Austrian ones. It's hard for someone who comes from the Czech Republic or from Austria to drink the beer abroad, but obviously they have found uh, Italian producers who are good enough. Then, Mosia. Um, is um, uh, was was settled uh, since the eighth century before Christ, and um, uh, it, it, the, the people have been fighting for control since that time, mainly between uh, Phoenicians and the Greeks, and since the twentieth century, uh, it has now been mapped and documented with rich RS plus. Uh, the, the main objective of their work, together with the Bayerische Gesellschaft for Unterwasser Archaeologie and the Superintendenza del Mare, is the mapping and surveying of possible position of ancient port facilities and shipwrecks laying off the coast. Uh, through this work, they get a unique opportunity to archaeologically study the Punic civilization. Then the team of our geo perspectives had to consider how it would be possible to use the Ertica <coughs> GNSS system to measure a shipwreck and, uh, and other underwater structures without risking the future of their young business 
if one of their receivers drones and goes down. And, and they found that kind of receiver they were working for, a rich RS, cost-effective, highly accurate, waterproof, we have IP66 and IP67, and even floatable for the case uh, it falls into the sea. With two rich RS receivers, and a highly complex floating device they have invented, which you can see here in the background, the team managed to start these measurements this summer. And we were delighted to see that uh, REACH M and REACH RS are not only launching into the air, as it is often the case with drones, or moved on the ground, but are also being taken to open seas and sometimes even underwater. As we assume or know since last week that also our health perspectives were very happy about their win in the photo content. This is the picture. Um, and the main price was a reach RS plus. So now they can measure more effectively, more efficiently, even if they manage to sink one of these devices for the, on, on the ground of the ocean, uh, their archaeology colleagues uh, might find even more interesting objects in another thousand years. And this is the winner from archaeo perspectives. Thank you.